But in those artificial environment, I think the environments, there's so much stress, environmental stress, mm -hmm. that it doesn't allow us to really get to the work that we need to do within, and I mean on all levels, mm -hmm. you know, emotional. And I remember growing up and feeling a slight borderline anxiety. I didn't know what it was and why. I, when I look back, I think it was definitely probably diet related, just mm -hmm. eating this standard American diet. And um, I just remember once stopping and just noticing, observing that. But th that's, you know, here, um, definitely not experiencing that. This is something that's been so, so um, profoundly transforming for me as well. Um, leaving behind. It wasn't hard for me to do. Mm -hmm. When I started the sun gazing and I looked into a light, very deep light I had never seen before. There's something about looking deep in the sun. Again, I felt that there was some changes happening. And we do know that the sun gazing can op start opening the pituitary and pineal glands. You know, what we find out over time is that our brains uh, were using a very small percentage, but what what's the dormant parts of our brain are actually spiritual glands and things that are just dormant um, and but they're there and they're accessible so if we create a lifestyle that allows us to perhaps open or stimulate or access I think we can actually find ways to to sort of access portals of information that are all around us you know, they're not necessarily, we can't necessarily see them, but we can access definitely many levels of higher consciousness that may give us an important information we need for the times ahead.